benefit. And what happens is acceptable, or should be, acceptable to us individually. Because God said it. God said it. I believe it. That settles it. It's a bumper sticker, which all of you have seen at some time or another. But they ought to redo the bumper sticker. God said it. That settles it. Whether you believe it or not, it's still true. I had a man tell me uh, last year, well, I, I, I don't believe that Christ died for me personally. I said, you don't have to believe it for it to be true. You see? He did this for you. When you believe it and you come to Christ, you'll find redemption and salvation. If you reject it, you don't. You have damnation. But it doesn't change the truth. Does it? If things are difficult and go awry and we question God, we need to back up again and think, this is what God has allowed in my life for his purpose. I don't understand it, but I accept from God his ministry, his work in my life to do his will. So how are we going to look at this new year? Maybe we ought to be praying, God, show me your will. Help me submit my life to your will. I know that which you have begun, you're going to continue to accomplish in my life until Jesus comes. There's no time. And I think maybe this is what the term occupy till he comes may mean. Occupy. 2012 sounds like it could be an exciting year. Especially watching news events and seeing things unfold around the world. This morning, I watched as they were going through the difficulties that China's having that not too many people know about in their own economic problem. And what happens if China fails? He said, it won't be this year, but next year doesn't look very good. Greece fails financially. European countries are falling by the wayside. The euro is becoming meaningless. Why are all these things happening? Because God is performing his work in the world to prepare the world for the translation of the church. Now that sounds pretty exciting. Maybe before we ever get to the Lord's Supper today, we'll be in heaven waiting for the marriage supper of the Lamb. This is an exciting time of the year. What is God going to do? Whatever he decides to do is okay with me. Maybe that's simplistic, but it's pretty exciting too. Let's pray together. Father, thank you for your word. I do ask, Lord God, that you would strengthen us. Help us to see your hand in our lives. Help us to be faithful to you in all things. And may we look this year as a, as a year of occupying and being faithful till the Lord Jesus comes for his people. We thank you that we have this opportunity to begin the new year in church and studying your word. And also, Lord, a, an opportunity to partake of the Lord's Supper to remind us of what the Lord Jesus did at the cross of Calvary. May we be forever thankful that what Christ began in our lives, he will complete. In Christ's name, amen.